Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy EQ. Let me bag this out a little bit. What's going on this morning, man? Hey, man, I appreciate all the new subscribers, man. man oof, man. My wife said, you need to go back on there. <laughs> she said, you got a lot of new subscribers. I said, I know, and I appreciate it, too. She said, you go back on there, man, and show these young guys they don't need to spend a lot of money, but they can make a lot of money. This is true, guys. You know me. I'm always shooting it straight with you, you know. Uh, I try to talk to you guys about finances and detailing. But anyway, let's get into it, man. Okay, I got my EQ all purpose right here. Yep. No, I didn't pee pee in the bottle. <laughs> now, this is the stuff that I mix up myself. You know, uh, people are like, man, you make your own chemicals. I don't make them, I mix them. I mean, that's what I do. I mean, that's what I did in the military was clean F 14s. So it just stuck in my head, you know what I mean? But anyway, man, uh, a guy asked me, do do you need, do you necessarily need a steamer, Mr. Jones? No, you don't. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, what I do. I mean, you can use a high drill RPMs on your drill and get you a bunch of drill brushes like this one. All right. I'm a big DeWalt fan uh, because uh, they last longer. And you see I got this brush, and I'm getting ready to do my, my floors, and I'm getting ready to do my seat. I got a, a box of brushes I'll show you guys here in a minute. But this thing got a lot of RPMs on it, man. You don't necessarily have to go out there and spend all that money. You can go to the pawn shop, get you one of these, order you a whole box of brushes for about 19 bucks from Amazon, all right? Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm just going to zoom you guys in. I got you on my pod to show how dirty my floor is. I hadn't had time to clean it because it's been raining, and then it starts sun shining, and then I had time to, you know. But anyway, uh, my point is you don't necessarily need a steamer for all this. Let me show you. I don't like to do a lot of, you know, dragging out my videos, anything like that. You know, I like to get right to the point. You know, be generous with it, you know. <clears throat> and all you got to do, take your drill. Remember, it's an RPM drill. It's a high RPM drill. You don't need to mash hard. Let the drill do the work. This little drill will even get your, your pedals. And you put some more product on the uh, pedals. All right, guys, uh, and when I'm done with that, I just take me a microfiber rag. I mean, we clean, guys. That's what we do. You know, we wipe. Detailing is more of just wiping everything down that the most people don't see, you know, when they're cleaning. You know, and that's basically it, man. You know, no, you don't need a... Uh, there you go. No, you don't need a steamer. Do I have a steamer? I got two. I got a McCullough, and then I got an industrial. I mean, does it, um, hot water cleans better. Don't get me wrong, but so does RPMs. So don't let nobody fool you on that one. You see how quickly I cleaned that. The EQ all purpose, it cleans it all. I got different scents uh, that I put in the bottle so you can tell the scent when you put into it. But you can see how quickly I clean that. See, I don't need to pull out a lot of stuff to do what I got to do. You feel what I'm saying? I don't like pulling, pulling out a whole bunch of stuff. So when I'm done, on my drill, just put your microfiber rag up there and clean it. You see? Now I'm ready to go. You see? Now let's say I wanted to do my door panels. No problem. Let's do it. All right, guys. There's the door panel.
get another rag. I don't want to use this floor rag, okay? All right, I'm back. All you got to do, man, is just wipe. You know, my EQ all purpose, you ain't got to worry about it staining your doors or nothing like that. People ask me when I'm going to start back selling it. Uh, I start back selling it soon when just you know my father passed away and I just don't feel like doing nothing. You know what I mean? That was my dude, man. Yeah, my father was the man. I mean, you know, he taught me everything. <clears throat> All right, guys, that's the drill part. I'm gonna come back and I'll show you the seats. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to do this seat. So I'm going to hold you guys up here, show you guys how this seat looks. And like I said, you don't necessarily need a steamer. I mean, you can get one if you want one. I mean, I don't knock people that got one. I mean, I got two of them. But, you know, if you're just trying to save some money, all you do, take your EQ all purpose. Don't saturate the seat to where, you know, it's going to take a long time to dry, you know? And then you take your drill brush. I mean, I know you guys probably can't can't see this, but and my drill is not working. Hold on, let me plug it back in. There we go. Now we're gonna do this seat. Here we go. Remember guys, you ain't got to rub hard. I mean, you ain't got to use the brush hard. But then you just got to get that time to dry. And then you can do it that way. Uh, All right, guys. <clears throat> like I said, you don't need a steamer. Uh, if it's too dark in here, I'm sorry, you guys. Ah, and my phone messed up. I got to get me another phone, believe it or not. <laughs> anyway, here's my BMW uh, mat. Like I told you guys, a high, uh, a high RPM drill with a drill brush. Depending on what you're doing, that's the kind of brush you're going to use. If you're doing interior and it's got a nice car, you want to use a real soft brush. But if you're doing mats and stuff like that, you know, you want to do a, a medium brush. All right, so let's get started. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You know, make sure you uh, blow the mat off or vacuum it up. I, I normally use air to blow it off. Now, you can be generous or whatever. Uh, let me get me a microfiber rack. All right, back. Now, all you do, gentlemen and ladies, if you're watching, you can use heat, which is a steamer, or you can use RPMs, man. Get done, just take your microfiber rag. Don't wipe hard. All you're trying to do is uh, soak it up, and that's what the microfiber rag does soak it. There you go, guys. Cleanse the whistle. Like I said, you don't have to spend a lot of money when you're first starting out, man. You know, as, you, uh, as your business grows, then you start buying more material. I mean, more, um, 
uh, <clears throat> better equipment, and then you can do a great job, okay? Uh, but don't go out there and break yourself. You know, guys, you know, I always tell you, you know, just get what you can afford. And uh, people tell me all the time, Miss Jones, I need a vacation. Or Miss Jones, I want to go on vacation. I always say, well, make your life. Feels like, you know, you're already on vacation. You know what I mean? You know, or you can just tell yourself, well, I'm going to Florida this weekend because you don't have any debt. You see what I mean? All right, you guys, I appreciate you watching my channel. Like I said, you don't necessarily need a steamer. I hope to answer your question, my man. Get you a high-powered drill, order you some brushes from Amazon, and you're good to go. All right, man. You guys be cool. Deuces. Beast. I'll show you guys. Some of you new guys who haven't seen the beast. Um, as you can see, I got my rigid. That's my compressor. That's where all my energy comes from, my electricity. And I got this right here. I haven't had this this long. I, my, my other one I gave to a friend of mine because he started his mobile detailing, so I gave it to him. Um, I got this bad boy. This is my compressor. I got this bad boy at Harbor Freight. I forgot what I paid for it, so I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say I paid this and I paid that. I forgot. So that's where my energy comes from, my electricity, brother. Uh, I got me a pressure washer. Here's the pressure washer that I got. I got this from Home Depot. I've been having these for a while. Actually, I got three pressure, well, four pressure washers. And um, now what I did about the other day, I love DeWalt. DeWalt, you know, I had the industrial hoses. Uh, DeWalt comes out now with a new light, light hose. Super light, guys. Super light. I love this hose, man. Super light. High compression. But it's just a light hose. It's easy to maneuver, you know. I ain't got to worry about uh, pulling that hose. and Because you guys are still young. See, I'm a little older whoop a snapper now. I'm 52. I can't be dragging stuff around. Now, let me show you a trick that I use, man. This is to roll back in, but it ain't rolling back in yet. Okay, here's my, you know, my cord, right, uh, that I use if I have to uh, vacuum up, right? I pull it out. But what I do, I don't, I don't mount it in. You see that bungee cord going up there? It's locked in right there. If I'm in a quiet neighborhood, what I would do, I would take this out. Instead of running my generator, I plug in to they socket. You see? And now I still got enough room for an extension cord. You see my meaning? So if I'm in a quiet neighborhood, I'm not going to run that generator. I'm going to take my extension cord out and plug into theirs, and I still got extension. There it is. All right. As you guys can see, I still got my business license up there. Got a little burnt there. Got a little burn there. That's from the exhaust and all that stuff. All right. This is for the new guys, you know. Okay, guys, this is what the beast looks like. Everything is organized, okay? I got my empty hamper right there for my dirty rags. Of course, I got my clean one. Got my vacuum. Got my bucket. If you notice, I got two buckets in here. Do I use the, do I use the two bucket method? No, I don't. The reason I have my two buckets is because if I got two cars to wash, what I do, I go ahead and fill my buckets up with hot water before I leave the house. Hot water. Washing cars is like doing laundry. You know what I mean? Hot water cleans better. And plus, I store early in the morning, you know, so it's good for me. So, I'll turn you back around there. Both of my buckets are here. I fill them up. Both of them got grid guards in them. All right? So that's what I do. If I got one car to do, I'm going to fill one bu one of those buckets up full of hot water, and I'm ready to go when I get there. All I got to do is start washing. All right? Now, here's my bag, <coughs> which I got everything in this bag, man. Everything that I need. So when I walk around the car, I take this bag around the car with me and just put it back. Whatever I use, I put it back in the slot. So when I get ready to go, I just pick up the bag, man, and put it back over here. You see? There you go. Now, my brushes are right here. I know I'm going to keep them up there on the floor, on the passenger side. Now, this is your drill brush set that you can buy. You can buy these almost anywhere. Uh, somebody might sell them online, uh, stuff like that. I mean, they got all type of attachments. And what I do, I, got, I keep my DeWalt drill there. And the thing I like about ah, the set that I got, it comes with the extension. Quick disconnect. You see? You just... Pull that nipple back right there and stick your brush in there and you ready to rock depending on which brush you want to use. So you got a variety of brushes. Depends on what job that you want done. You know, that's the one I use the most and you can tell. <laughs> but
But you know, but you can clean those things, man. Just hit you some EQ all purpose. There's your carpet cleaner. You know, uh, if you got dog hair and everything embedded, there's another one. And um, there's another brush. This is what you get with this set. And you can tell the two that I use the most. You see, those two right there. When those wear out, I go ahead and switch over, man. You see, a whole set. And what did I pay for this set? I think I paid about $19 for the set. That's including the extension. Um, the name of this set is Shield Pro. I got this from Amazon. Okay, you got my, uh, you might got some guys out there that sell them and you can get it from them, uh, you know. But um, I just decided that um, I was helping a buddy of mine out start his business, so I gave him one of my streamers. And since I just got clients that I normally take care of, I no longer needed uh, all, all those steamers. So, my point is, man, you ain't got to go out there and spend a lot of, uh, a lot of money, guys. Not starting out. I want you to make money, not spend a lot of money. All right. And we we'll, and I got two. If you can see right here, take it out. Uh, this here, I got a, I got a buffer. This is a um, rotary buffer. In other words, it picks up heat. You know, it spins uh, around in a circle. You know, I use that, you know, when I got a tough job, you know, when I got I need to get rid of some defects, okay? Uh, and you can't, actually I got three drills in here. If you go over here and look over here, I got a DeWalt. And then I got another orbiter buffer, which I use the most, the orbiter buffer. Unless I got a, a um, tough job, and if I'm doing a boat, which I don't do boats anymore, that's what this um, DeWalt was for. It's a uh, rotary buffer. But most of the time I use, um, okay, pull this out of here. <clears throat> most of the time I use the uh, porta cable. See? See, I got everything organized where I can reach it. You know, I don't want my van to be all jumped up and stuff like that, man. I mean, uh, I got stuff in the doors, yeah. You know, I got ties and, um, you know, when I clean driveways, see? I got my paperwork for that, you see? You know, I got all that in here, and uh, of course I got tools just in case my equipment break down. And this is the beast, this is the 2012. I keep everything flushed, you know? You guys didn't know, I always keep that rose with me. That's my mom rose, she passed away about 10 years ago. And my dad just passed away, so uh, I no longer have any parents. I got my stepmom, which is, she's a sweetheart, so. All right, we'll walk around. Remember now, this is a 2012. Like I said, it's flushed. I bought this thing brand new back in 2012, man. And I take care of the beast. I love the beast. And the beast love me. <laughs> All right, go around here as you guys can see. You see the seats are almost dry. You know, you still can see the shadow, but the seats are almost dry. You know, that's why I use that method when they dry real quick. The windows, always the windows, you know. So, I'm about to get it repainted. I did have it decked out with my Equality Mobile name on it and stuff like that. I'm about to get it repainted, though. Uh, you can see right here where it's chipping. It's doing on both sides. So, a uh, buddy of mine going to paint the whole thing for $2,500. I mean, he got a paint shop. Now, if you look over there, you'll see my trailer behind my house. Now, I make, I make good money with my trailer. What I do, I haul stuff for people. They'll call me on the weekend. They say, hey, I got referred to you. I say, yeah, um, I need some stuff picked up from Home Depot. I go to Home Depot, and I pick it up, and I take it to them. Ten-mile radius. <laughs> Boy, y'all better quit. I ain't playing around here. <laughs> but anyway, man, I appreciate you guys tuning in, man. And uh, I hope these uh, advices help you guys. You don't have to spend a lot of money getting started. Go to the pawn shop, see what they got to offer you. Uh, get your drill brushes. You don't necessarily need a steamer. So, Hey, love you guys, man. Take care. Your boy EQ. Deuces.